Being a strong draft breed, the greater Swiss mountain dog is powerful and large in size. These dogs are covered in double coats, featuring an undercoat that is thick and an outer coat that is dense. The coat is about 1 to 1.5 inches long. The greater Swiss mountain dog is incredibly animated, showing exactly how they feel in their facial expression and smile. Though it is easy to purchase a purebred puppy, many of these dogs are found in rescue shelters across the country. These dogs are usually large and bulky. The female is usually 23.5 to 27 inches long, reaching a weight of anywhere from 85 to 110 pounds. Meanwhile, the males are a little larger, measuring about 25.5 to 28.5 inches in length and 105 to 140 pounds in weight. These dogs are, like all the other living creatures, prone to a number of health issues. Many of the health concerns associated with this dog are related to their large size, genetics, and other factors. Perhaps one of the most common ailments of the dog is dysplasia in the hips and elbows. Dysplasia is the abnormal growth in these joints, which causes limping and pain. Their bones are at an elevated risk of damage, which is only proven by their predisposition to orthopedic problems like panistitis and osteochondritis dissecans. Panistitis is also called shifting leg lameness or pano and it happens spontaneously. This dog grows quickly, which is part of the reason that they have a higher risk. The dog will end up with inflammation in their long bones on the legs, which can prevent them from moving around. It can happen in dogs as young as two months old. Osteochondritis dissecans has to be diagnosed with radiography, as it is nearly impossible to diagnose with symptoms. This condition essentially means that there's improper development in the cartilage, and there's the possibility of cracks and fissures. Some research suggests that breeders are trying to eliminate this condition from the breed's genetic makeup. Greater Swiss Mountain Dog can also suffer from eye diseases, gastric torsion, a twist in the gut, epilepsy, seizures in the brain, and urinary incontinence. Interestingly, female dogs are more prone to the latter than males. Some of the problems that these dogs are prone to are hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, eye diseases, panistitis, osteochondritis, gastric torsion, epilepsy, urinary incontinence. These dogs, if properly trained, usually have a calm temperament. They are loyal and devoted to their owner families. However, Maturity comes slow to these dogs and therefore it can often be tiring to deal with a large-sized puppy. Another dog that has this slow maturation is the St. Bernard. When these dogs are small puppies, they are very active. However, sometimes, they can get very mouthy, tending to nip at little children when they run and chase them. The greater Swiss mountain dogs are usually eager to please. As long as they are not provoked, this breed is excellent with the children of the family, thanks to their sweet and easy-going nature. These dogs tend to be very cautious and protective of the home. Luckily, this astute attention to their surroundings allows them to show their courageous side as a great watchdog. Before you get your hands on a greater Swiss mountain dog, as a puppy or adult, you need to make sure that you are prepared for the task ahead of you. Here are a few things that you would want and need to keep in mind before adopting a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog as a pet. On a daily basis, the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog needs about 4-5 to five cups of high-quality dry dog food. Rather than allowing the pup to continually have access to food that they can graze on through the day, most experts advise to divide this into two separate meals for the dog. Puppies are a different story. The puppies in this breed will need to have their food broken into three to four smaller meals in a day. The younger ones tend to have smaller stomachs, making smaller meals easier for them to digest. These dogs have double coats, one is thick, and one is dense. 
Brush it weekly to remove dead coat hair. But this brushing is rather easy and relaxing for you and your dog alike. While these dogs do not drool as other breeds do, they shed a lot. In fact, they have so much fur that they shedding heavily during spring and fall months is fairly common, even with the more moderate temperatures. A shedding blade is incredibly useful to keep on hand, if you intend to do the grooming yourself. Nail care is equally important. This dog's nails can grow quickly, so you should trim their nails every week or two. Teeth should be brushed daily to maintain the health of the mouth and to prevent decay. Many products on the market make this part of their care easy, like treats that break down plaque. While you can't keep pushing your dog to train, these dogs shouldn't be too resistant to it. They are willing to learn for the sake of pleasing their owner, so the best approach will be a training routine that comes with plenty of praise and positive reinforcement. This training will mean the difference between a disruptive dog and a housebroken, obedient dog. These dogs require a moderate amount of exercise each day, so a home with a yard is their best friend. Even with outdoor exposure, it is best to bring this dog out on a long walk once or twice a day to get their body moving. Exercise is also an excellent way to reduce the risk of obesity, which can occur in dogs that don't get enough physical activity or balance in their diet.